So I get a lot of comments on Twitch and YouTube asking if the Messi pack is still worth it. So if you're unaware, if you're free to play, there is a chance you can get a booster Messi uh, in your club. If you're on PlayStation though, this isn't possible. You have to buy it off the PlayStation Store for 15 euro. If you're on other platforms, you can buy them for 1,500 coins. So yeah, I discuss uh, which versions of Messi you might already have that would stop you being worth getting and I give a training guide at the end. So yeah, enjoy. It's a good deal. So first off, if you have this version of Messi or this version of Messi, I wouldn't recommend um, getting the pack. Just get that out of the way. So if you have either of these versions, I wouldn't recommend. There are benefits uh, to this Messi over th those versions. So if you want a bit more nuance, I'll explain those benefits. But in terms of value for money, I would uh, I would probably stick to these two versions. Um, in terms of the big time Messi, so there was the World Cup uh, deep line forward one with very high physical contact. The 2009, I believe, Messi, the blue boot. Yeah, it would have been 2009. Um, and then this one. In terms of which Messi that this one is most similar out of big times, it's uh, this Messi. The World Cup one is a deep line forward and he's more of a passer slash uh, his physical contact makes him, you know, being able to back into the defender very well. Um, and then the roaming flank blue boot one is a winger and he's really fast. So couple that with the roaming flank, he's supposed to be someone you stick out wide and use the pace for. Um, the deep line forward Messi you can play him as an SS centrally, but if you play him as an SS out wide, like a 4 3 3, say, um, you're going to have issues because he, uh, his deep line forward means he's going to come inside and he's not really going to play like a winger. Sorry, not come inside, come short. He's not really going to play like a winger. He could make it work, but um, overall, it's not uh, the best. So he's most similar to this Messi. He's definitely not as good as this Messi, but he, uh, he is most similar. Um, actually, there's one, one other Messi he is similar to. Uh, find them for you. So he's also similar to this Messi. Pretty, he's actually pretty identical to this Messi. Uh, the only thing is, because this one isn't a booster, and this is, is if you want to get, you know, the booster dribbling so over a hundred, uh, you're obviously gonna need this one, uh, compared to this one. So if you have this Messi, uh, I'll explain the the reason why you wouldn't, you know, switch it out for this one. But if you have this one. I actually used to have this one and then bought this pack and legacy transferred over the skills. And um, the only reason you would want this Messi over this one is because, like I said, the booster dribbling. In terms of the other stats, like this one doesn't actually have um, extremely high dribbling, but it does have better passing. See the lofted pass, 73 on this one, 80 on this one. So um, speed is pretty close. Uh, and this one actually has more kick and power. And then this one has more curl. So for the knock-on finesse, you know, this one's a little bit better at kicking power, but quite a less curl. Um, but, you know, if you already have this one, it's the fact you're going to have to invest more to get this one. So, in terms of the build, I would go for this one. So, if you look at... So, this is the plus two game plan boost. Uh, this boost is to his... Wait, his card. So, it's a boost to dribbling. So, honestly, you should really only get this card if you want to lean into the, um, the booster uh, dribbling. Um, this is the auto allocate. If you look at this pet Messi, if ignore the dribbling for a sec, look at the rest of the stats. 93 curl, 94 curl, so pretty much the same. 94 finishing, 92 finishing, less finishing. Um, 80 speed compared to 72 on this one, it is quite a difference. Uh, this one though has a uh, similar speed, but less, uh, less finishing on this build, but you can just take out the passing and then go 91. And yeah, there is a passing difference, but like I said, it's a it's a question of, uh, you know, is he you're it's free to play, or you're investing coins. So uh, in terms of the build, I would go for. So there's a few different ways. I recommend you know you're buying a booster, use the booster, get to 101 type possession, and enjoy it. Um, outside of that, you could go to if you believe in kind of threshold. So you believe 89 finishing is similar to 88 finishing but quite a bit different from 90 if you believe in that um you could just go to 90 uh finishing i believe though like i, I do notice a difference between 92 and 94 so if you want that curl uh get it up to eight shooting but uh we'll put it on six for the moment um in terms of his dexterity 
Uh, look, well, first off, actually, go speed. Sorry, first lower body strength. You should get it to eighty, and then eighty-four. I feel like eighty-four is this level of attribute where players start getting really consistent. So his kick and peril consistently be good at eighty-four. His finishing, if it was eighty-four, be consistently good at eighty-four. His passing at eighty-four. That's you know that's when it starts getting consistent. Obviously, the higher you go, the the better at its peak. But in terms of consistency, I think eighty-four is the uh, number you're looking for. So yeah, in terms of uh, you've only got five points left, so you know you can't get the uh, dexterity with this build to ninety. So I would recommend you know lowering his passing. I know I just said his passing, or sorry, I just said eighty-four is the number you're looking for for consistency. But I feel like if you're playing him as an SS, his passing doesn't need to be quite as good. Uh, he already has true passing stat. Um, and your ability to beat a man will be more important. So if you can get that up to 90 acceleration, uh, it's good. And 95 balance will feel very nice. So yeah, in terms of the build, that's what I'd do. If you're playing him AMF, you know, maybe take the acceleration off and put it into passing, get it to uh, 84. Then you still have two points left. You can probably just put it into uh, lower body strength. So that will make his passing uh, good because not just the passes that kick and power. I explained in my how to train players uh, video. The importance of kick and power when it comes to passing and um, and this messy uh, has really good uh kick and power and low pass but his kick and power is probably what's making his passing so good in this one and in terms of these ones yeah he has 87 kick and power the 78 low pass it's probably still going to struggle and then with this one um 81 kick and power 93 low pass so honestly his passing is higher here but because of the kick and power it might not be as good because now your kick and power is over 85. Only 80 kick and power. Um, it might be a matter of taste. Now this one does have a bit more lofted pass. And it might have weight. You might have weighted pass in the skills. Doesn't say it here. But um, yeah. In terms of is he worth it? Um, you still got another question to ask yourself. There's more messies to come in the database. Let me pull them up for you. Um, so similar to these messies here. Uh, kind of throwback messies. Retro messies. There are um, more that are still coming. Uh, so here's my uh, Twitter account, by the way, if you want to follow. So I retweeted a video, I'm sorry, a tweet a while ago. That showed, yeah, here they are. So here's all the messies that are still to come. Now, they've been, these have been in the database since uh, since this version of Messi has come, and they still haven't released. So I feel like they're going to repeat the three messy pack with three new messies, and they're going to give them even further boosters. Because if you look at the boosters at the moment, uh... It doesn't show it here. Let me just look up Messi the football booster. If you look on the card, you see how the little booster icon is blue. There, um, for this Messi, there, it's it's gold. Um, is it here? Oh, sorry, it's purple. Sorry, apologies. There's still a gold one to come out. I feel like they're gonna give it to these Messies, and these are gonna be even insane. So it's gonna be a further level in power creep. So. You have 1500 coins you're thinking should i spin it might be smart just to wait um it might just be smart to wait further by the time that messies come out you might have 2500 coins 2500 and it, i only recommend spinning for players if you're willing to clear the pack but because there's three messies in these packs if you get one you'll be happy so it might be smart to um wait for that and then look if you don't get it in them coins you can add a little bit of money they're likely to get one of the messies. So yeah, that's my thoughts on if these messies are worth it. Um, if when when he first came out, he was great. He's not too much different than uh this messy, but he's definitely a step below these. You also get ten players in the pack. I wouldn't worry about the ten players unless you're brand new to the game. You need some players. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.